Hey everybody, it's Odd Dustin. Welcome back to the Mosh Pit. We're playing some Sense Cyberpunk Ghost Story. And I think, for some reason I wasn't noticing it, but I think in this Shinrei Shashin, that might be the names of these ghosts. Like, that's a... I don't know what that means, but I can see now... <laughs> I was only looking at this Seattle uh, needle here, the Space Needle. But there's a ghost right here in the corner. And then on this one, number three, you can see there's a ghost with long hair up here above the fridge. So, yeah, I guess I'm taking pictures with my phone maybe or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and I don't know what this red part is here in... Uh, on the maps. I think there's red part there. Maybe that just means that's the danger zone. I don't really know. I don't really know. But currently trying to figure out what this lockpick is for. And we have a jade bangle. We have one more offering and a joss stick in case we need it. We got a gotcha coin, a flashlight. Uh, last thing we did was we found this police letter. Things were really weird. <clears throat> um in that last room that we went to, and I'm not really sure where the next place is. I'm trying to figure out where the lockpick is for. I want to say it was in 204. But I'm not 100% on that. I thought that there was something like right next to the door. Ah! Oh, jeez. What the heck? Yeah. No, that's just that. Huh. Yeah, I thought that there was something right by the door. Maybe we unlocked that already. I don't know if there's anything else to do in here other than make more keys later. There's a ghost here. Looking at that. Um, seems like that spirit intends to leave me alone for now, but maybe an offering will help him rest. Oh, so I can... Okay, let's do the offering. Here we go. Mm -hmm. What was that? Okay, so do we let this ghost rest then? Because we let the offering down? Okay. Can we go up to the third floor? <laughs> Is that a thing? The ghost right there, it looks like. Seems like there's one right outside here. Do we remember... Is this the crawl space thing? This is the crawl space. Okay. If I look back through that hole... The end of this... Um, let's see. What is that? Jade Bangle. Looks like mine. Protected me from the thing. Maybe I should take this one just in case. Ooh, extra. Well, how come I didn't get this last time I was in here? Empty... Uh, this must be where the ghost hides everything he stole. I'm sorry, but I need this walk more than you. Oh, sweet. Got another walk. All right. Walk it off. Walk, walk it off. Walk, walk, walk it off. Just a plastic crate. Now, that plastic crate's going to be needed. I'm sure of it. It's pink. Um, got some pee bottles, and there's no anything on any of this back here. Okay. That pink crate's going to be used for something. I don't know what, but if it's pink, that means that I can interact with it later, and we will need it. That's just how this game is. Um, return. Uh, okay. See, what is that? Open trunk. See, I knew there was something here. Oh, the lockpick disintegrated. Of course it disintegrated. Okay, let's take a look. It's filled with letters to someone named Chua in apartment 206. Read note. Dear Chua, please forgive me for scaring you. I did not mean to make you upset. I just wanted to know you. If you will just look at this photo, then you will understand. I am sorry. Mr. Zhu will probably fire me, but I want to tell you the truth. I love you. Thon Tony Nguyen. Oh, so Tony is Thon. I thought they are brother and sister. There's a photo attached. 
Every letter I check looks the same. Hmm. hmm. There's something hidden under the letters. Take elevator key. Ooh. It looks like an emergency elevator release tool. I bet I can use this to open the elevator doors on the west end. Ah. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Having uh, pretty gnarly allergies today, so excuse me if I'm a little uh, congested. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe I can get the doors open somehow. Old elevators like this typically have an emergency release key, which I totally got. Now open the doors. Use the release key. Boom. Well, the doors are open. Just need something to reach the elevator car. I need to find something sturdy enough to climb on. Oh, yeah, you think that maybe that plastic crate's uh, sturdy enough that I could have picked up before, but now I have to backtrack too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, think maybe. Jesus. This game has too much backtracking. I do appreciate that they designed a mirror of me. I do appreciate that. Um, a lot of times, games like this won't go through the extra hassle of designing the mirror to work, but uh, I appreciate it. Let's see if we can pick this crate up. Uh, not the cat. <laughs> not gonna stand on the crat. Crat. Not the crat. This could work uh, pretty well as a stool. You think? I knew I'd have to come back for that. I knew it. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do a quick save since we can. They allow us to do it. We're taking advantage. Alrighty, get on down to the elevator. I have, uh, I mean, it's not massive fear, but I do have a fear of climbing in or out of an elevator that's not quite on a floor like this, because I don't want to get smooshed and sliced in half. <laughs> um, I'll need to find something sturdy enough to climb on, yeah, like this plastic crate. This crate will definitely hold my weight. I have used a crate before to climb on things, that's for sure. Oh, there's a ghost in here, of course. Oh, jeez. God, what the noise. Come on. Um, enter the second floor. Aren't I already on the second floor? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So, where am I? The third floor? Damn it, another locked door. I just want to find a way out of here. Is this the first or third floor? I need to see the door numbers. Storage. Storage marks storage. It looks like I'll need a key. Maybe manager's apartment has one. I know I saw some more keys on the desk. Why didn't you pick them up then? Jesus. This is three. Okay. It's open. There we go. There we go. Look in here first before we go back down to the manager um it says cycle but there's nothing to cycle so i don't know well maybe it's just not showing up it is okay what the camera went off on its own yeah because there's a ghost over there i bet you that's a shinrei shashim yep 14 what the heck all right why is there a raven in here the window has a heavily rusted lock on it. I can't even see a keyhole anymore. Just outside, there's a fire escape. Unfortunately, it only goes up. Maybe I can try using the elevators on the fourth floor to get out of here. Either way, I need to get this lock off the open window. Yeah. These birds need to shut the hell up. If I try throwing anything, it may only tick them off. A loud noise or flashlight, flashing lights would be better. Okay, I need something that makes a loud noise or flashing lights. Those crows look very defensive. I shouldn't try to get any closer. Okay. Alright. Alrighty. I get it. I get the picture. I need a tool to open up the uh, rusted lock. Um, can't get into storage. Can't get into that door. Let's go this way. Um... Okay, nothing you can do with that. 
the knob doesn't turn, the door won't budge, there isn't even a number. This mustn't be an apartment. Mustn't. Mustn't at all. Um, not seeing anything. This looks like... Okay. God. It's a offering cup. I can definitely use this. Sweet. Apartment 304. I don't know that I want to go in there. Apartment 304, the door's locked. Maybe I can find a key. Okay. Multiple things to do, multiple keys to find. Uh, what is that? Lost kitty? A flyer for a lost cat. It says to contact a Maddie Mao in 505 if the picture cat is found. Okay. Am I going to find a cat? Help somebody with their lost cat? Okay. Doors jammed, stairs collapsing. Must have affected more of the stairwell than I had thought. Another elevator. Doesn't seem to be working on this floor. These elevators are so old, it isn't that surprising. Okay. What's with the water pipes there? Apartment 305. Doors locked. Okay. Oh, geez. Police line, huh? There's police tape covering the door. Odd. Something must have happened here just before the building was abandoned. Well, how do you know it was just before? Remove police, police tape. Oh, the door's unlocked. Oh, great. Here we go. What the hell? It's a pig head? Other than being completely terrifying, something feels off about this. Other than that, um, yeah, you think? Oh. Durr. No. Hmm. Alright. Yep. Yeah, pig head, not uh, the most comforting. It's a large plastic bag with a rusted zipper. Huh, I wonder why rusted zipper's in pink. There might be something useful inside. If I can find something to loosen up the zipper, I can open the bag. Just wanting to get at that zipper. Um, okay. Don't know. No, looks like a shrine, but the offering cup has spilled ashes everywhere. Um, okay, can't put anything there yet. Table's covered in dirty dishes and what looks like college homework. There's also a plastic bottle. Okay, took the plastic bottle. Can I scoop up the ashes? Um, hmm. Okay. A uh, wooden fish statue. Looks like it's got some kind of religious significance. Fish. Religious significance. I don't know about anything fish-wise that's religious. There are plenty of books on chemistry and science here. There's even some classic comic books. This guy had great taste. Hmm. There are also some self-help books. Spiraling in a no, spiraling in a study in overcoming anxiety. West England. Ooh, a Betamax tape. All right. Traditional lion head dance heads. This tenant must have been a hardworking and dedicated person. The training required for the lion dance is pretty intense. Huh. I know if you can still interact with something that there might be something else going on later. So I just keep interacting with it and verify. Looks like a college student's desk. It's covered in textbooks, homework, and notes. Amazing how little has changed in nearly a century. There's even a staple remover. This staple remover may come in handy at some point. <laughs> Examine chart. HG80 Mercury is circled. Maybe something to do with an assignment. Hmm. Read note. It's a note from a friend or classmate. Hey Kev, I know it's not your bag, but you gotta come with us to see the new slasher flick. Stop being such a wuss. Plus Joey's bringing a few hotties. You can finally show them Americans how have fun, bro. P.S. Kelly will be there. I know you had your eye on her. JP. This guy reminds me of some of Michael's friends. Some people just like staying in, you know? Hmm. Mercury circled. All right. What's this? A box of old Chinese firecrackers. There's no guarantee they'll work, but it's worth taking them with me for the crows. Hell yeah. Just a bathroom. The patio and the door seem to be unlocked. Mm hmm. Before we go in there, let's do a quick save. Always be saving. ABS. Let's do it. Uh, what is that? 
Looks like an old thermometer holder. Oh, just the moment. The thermometer itself must have fallen off at some point. Just like before, I feel like there's a barrier separating this building from the world. The city looks almost deserted. Hmm. Hmm. Turn. What is this? Despite decades of weathering, all this junk and garbage has somehow survived. Yeah, but um, is there anything? Huh. So if I find the thermometer, I can come back here. Okay. I'm not gonna remember that. Um. Okay. So I got the firecrackers. Um. I have the feeling I'm gonna need to use something to scoop up that. Uh, I don't have anything for that yet. Check kitchen. The sink is bloody and rusted over. Gross. That's it? Uh, what's this? Oh, that's the pig head. Um, alright. Well, that was the last door. Let's go back to the crow room. Which... I don't remember which one that is. I think it's this last one that I went into here. Locked. Oh, no, that needs a key, so it's not that one. This one? Knob doesn't turn. No, must not have been that one. I didn't realize it was this far back. Locked. Hmm. Was it really all the way back here? That's storage. It must have been 301. Yep. Yep. Alright, try throwing anything in a trick to use fireworks. These old fireworks could definitely do the trick. Plus, someone from outside may see and call the police. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, there's anybody outside. I just hope that I don't accidentally start a fire. Yeah, this, uh, that would be bad. Let's not do that. Alright. Alright. Um, this wall must have collapsed decades ago. I don't see anyone below, so I doubt there's any point in screaming. Besides, something just isn't right with this building. Like what though? Hmm. You know, what the hell is wrong with this building? What's that? A can of mechanical oil? This stuff's pretty useful. I suppose carrying it around isn't a bad idea. You can just carry everything, but you can't carry your extra jacket. Um, okay. We got some oil. Uh, mercury was uh, circled, so the mercury is inside thermometers. Padlocks. Centralia steel. It'd be tough to break apart or even cut, but maybe I can find some way to weaken the metal. Like mm. using oil or mercury, maybe? Heated up mercury? I don't know where the thermostat would be. Um, and what is the oil for? That's just locked. Oil can! Um, hmm. I have a walk. Uh, knob doesn't budge. No, nope, it's not that. What would I use oil for? No, nope, don't have a key for that. What's this tower statue feels lighter than it looks. Maybe I should look underneath. Ha ha ha! Check under the statue. That's odd. There's a small panel screwed onto the bottom of the statue. This must be for hiding a spare key. A coin or something similar could open it. You mean like the coin that I have? Gotcha coin. There we go. Got it. This must be the apartment key. You got the key. Locked. Sweet. Uh, whoa, that's weird. I started right in the middle. What are these shoes? A pair of young girls' sneakers. The shoelaces are a cool hot pink color. Shoelaces are made of nylon and still in good shape. They could prove useful. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. 
Let's do a save. <laughs> I'm getting an odd feeling about this room. Uh, the doorknob, doorknob, the doorknob turns, and it doesn't look like it has a lock, but some kind of force is keeping it, keeping me from opening it. You know, like the ghost force, maybe, maybe space force. Exit to hall in the middle of the room. It's so weird. There's a note here underneath a scoop of some kind. Read note. It looks like a note from a local grade school. It's dated June 19, 1983. Mrs. Ng Xiao Fong. We understand your decision to remove Suki from school system last year, but we hope that you will reconsider as our enrollment period is coming to an end soon. I know that Suki has several incidents that forced hands on both sides. But I firmly believe that with weekly counseling, we can work with and truly help Suki become happy, well-adjusted young girl. Please call me if you need anything. I would like to help you and hear or you and her in any way possible. Asami Fioka, Fujioka, guidance counselor, Puget Sound Elementary School. Okay. Big scoop. The ice cream scoop. Can I scoop out the eyeball of a pig, maybe? Especially for tasks too gross for me to handle barehanded. Mm hmm. Nothing to see. Uh, I'm thinking it's that gross pig because it had an eyeball that was kind of sticking out. Giant feng shui mirror. I can feel a draft coming from the cracks. There appear to be a few pieces of mirror missing. Maybe putting them back will give me some answers. Need to find both pieces of mirror. Okay, an ancient hand fan, even despite the damage and aging from a hundred years in this place, this fan has held up well. There seems to be some kind of Taoist incantation or prayer written on it. Okay, can't do anything with that. Table's covered in Taoist statues and tokens. Wait a minute, this looks like part of the giant feng shui mirror. Boom, you got the piece of feng shui mirror. More jaw sticks and offering cups. These will come in handy. Hell yeah. Need those to get rid of the damn ghosts. Small children's backpack. Backpack, backpack. Backpack, backpack. It's filled with school supplies. Can I have that? It's filled with school supplies. Can I have the school supplies? No. Suck it. No school supplies for you. Uh, enter the bedroom. Hold on. Before we go in the bedroom. Old folding camera. I never thought I'd see one of these up close. Wait a minute. The markings around the lens are strange. These kanji are incredibly old. KSL. That must have been the person who built the camera. It's obviously one of a kind. Did I get the camera? No. It's still there. Um... A messy desk covered in Taoist charts, scrolls, and manuscripts. There's a large and ornate book laying open. Read book. What the? Camera took a random photo. Another one of those uh, things. Another ghost. Mm -hmm. Calendar from 1983. Several numbers are highlighted somewhat randomly. I wonder if there's a correlation. An old manuscript detailing various types of spirits and demons from the Taoist religion. Some of these reached urban legend status and are the only barely recognizable now. Looking further, this book seems to describe methods of exercising these types of entities. The tenants of this apartment must have been priests of some sort. So now we only have that to interact with. It's a bathroom. Years, probably decades of time. It's created mold and smells. I'd better not better off not inhaling. It's a repeat from the other bathroom. Enter the bedroom. There's a framed photo of a little girl. Okay. I can't do anything with that. Another bangle. Another jade bangle. There's also a journal on the nightstand. It's handwritten in Cantonese and appears to belong to someone named Ying Si Fiong. Read the journal. I'm not great with these names. The journal is filled with entries detailing difficulties of raising a young girl, Suki. It seems like this family was struggling quite a bit, but stayed strong despite their troubles. OK. 
Okay. Traditional gold ink wedding painting of two dragons encircling each other. Typically, these depict a dragon and a phoenix. So two dragons must have some special significance. Um, a nightstand that reminds me of the old man's. A simple alarm clock, a lamp, and a cup. Rings cover the top. There's also a Betamax tape. There we go. Got a Betamax tape. Anything else in here? Framed photo of a little girl. Um, I think I'm going to need that for some kind of shrine and offering, but it's not letting me take it. I'm going to have to come back later for that. It's kind of a bummer. Um, this is, what is that? What the heck is that? There's a butterfly over here. Is that like the butterfly effect? You just interacted with the world in a way that makes other things happen? Or something like that? Can't do anything with the school supplies either. Can I put both pieces of mirror back? No. I, gotta, I have to find the other piece, which is not in here. Um, can't get in there. Doorknob turns. It doesn't look like it has a lock, but some kind of force. Yeah. Space force. Um, okay, back to the hall. Um, no, it's stuck. Play with me. Um, play. Okay, what's your name? I'm Suki. Let's play Baozin Dupe. But no cheating. If you do, I'll be mad. Uh, this one. The draw. Uh, this one. It's a draw. Uh, this one. It's a draw. <laughs> this one. It's a draw. This one. What the? This, this one. You lose. You win. You win. You won. I won all the games. Cheater! Oh man, she's not happy about that. <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, <laughs> but I won, she's a sore loser, oh my god, what the hell, <laughs> that's exactly what the game says, Ugh, what the hell happened, the floor must have collapsed, it looks like I'm in some kind of basement, gotta find a way out of here. So, interact. The lobby's on the other side of this rubble. But where the hell's the exit? Did the city build over it at some point? Either way, I need to find another way out, or at least a way back up to the upper floors. This debris, it's filled with glass and other dangers. If I can find something to push the rubble away, I can go back to the lobby. Uh, I don't have anything to push. Okay, so that I can the electric um, thing right there is right where the elevator was, where it had the electricity. So that's where we are. TV's off, but there appears to be power running to this room. Press the power button. Do the Betamax. According to police reports, the gunman acted alone in executing all 13 members of the Chongqing Gambling Club. It's still unclear if there is any connection to remaining triad groups operating in the international district. Authorities are currently... That broadcast must have been from 1983. How is this possible? The Betamax tape, I can record my progress here. Let's do a save on the empty slot. Even though we can quick save, I like doing the regular saves. I'm good. There's a sign up sheet for some kind of weekly event. There's a magazine laying open on the coffee table. It looks like Suki really loved games. Does that have control rage ninjas? <laughs> uh, sideways up, side, sideways down, sideways up, select start. Code. Suki, this code will get you through the dead end in Super Rage Ninja. I'll show you how to do it next time we play Mariko. <laughs> Alright. I didn't cheat though, lady. Oh god, there's a ghost janitor in here. An old arcade unit. I've heard this series from the golden age of score-based action games. They stopped making them at some point in the early 2030s. 
though these units look like they're 1983 originals. Is there a way to take a picture of this ghost? Because there was like, there was a ghost right here. I wonder if I have to like see it and then turn around real quick and take a picture. I'm wondering if that's like something I should be doing when I see him. It seems like staying away from the ghost is what I should be doing. The door is labeled laundry. It's worth a check, I guess. I'm getting so tired of locked doors. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, sister. There's a sign on the door that says salon, employee entrance only. Maybe I can find an exit for, for an answer inside. It's unlocked. All right, let's go. That's the only thing we can do. Uh, what's this? A painting of a Japanese woman in a beautiful kimono. I wonder if it's the woman who owned this studio. I wonder. There's a cash register, an old cassette tape machine of some sort, and a log book on the desk. Check the log. It looks like an appointment log book for this hair salon. It's filled with names and dates. One name appears quite a bit. Sally Fong, for all kinds of treatments and stylings. There's also a paper clip. This could come in handy. Thanks for the paper clip. There's a cash register. Uh, open the register. Register's mostly empty except for dust and a few quarters. Did I take those? Uh, open the register. Why isn't it taking the quarters? Because it won't let me? Okay. The machine appears to be plugged into the phone. This is probably an answering machine for recording missed call messages. It plays miniature cassette tapes, but the tape's missing. Okay. That's some old Cantonese. It looks like it's written in lipstick. It's a bit older than my generation's lingo, but I think it says lying whore or something to that effect. Okay. Uh, examine cassette machine. Here's some plugged in the phone. Probably an answer machine for recorded missed call messages. Plays much cassettes. Don't have that. So. Um, it tells me there's quarters in there, but that I can't do anything with it, so I'm assuming I'm going to have to come back for the quarters at some point. Is that the cat? Another Manekineko. I wonder if it's bank, if it's a bank like the other one in the crawl space. Bingo! A set of keys. One looks like the other apartment keys, while the other's set says laundry. There you go. Got the laundry key. An old rubber floor mat, probably for making the stylus feet more comfortable while standing all day. Um, <clears throat> broom. I can use this to clear away the rubble without getting hurt. Take the broom. There we go. I wonder what that floor mat's for. Uh, appears to be something plastic clogging the drain. Gross. Damn and drain. Can't quite tell what it is. Maybe I can find something to pull the clog out with. Use paper clip. There we go. Now that's a bit disgusting. <laughs> Looks like a miniature cassette tape. Hey, there we go. Completely wrapped in hair. Gross. Gross. Disgusting. A uh, very old magnetic tape cassette media device like this were phased out within a few decades of use, but I bet this is still playable. Yeah, back over here. Okay. Uh, cassette machine. Plays the tape. Play the main cassette. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. Sounds like a very angry woman yelling in Cantonese. She seems to be accusing someone of being a liar. If I find any more tapes, I can play them here. Okay. Hold it up for format. Still can't use the format. Don't know why. Pick up the bangle. Can't carry any more. Okay, I can only have one bang, two bangles. Do I have two on me right now? I think I do. There's one. Yeah. All right. What's that? The decor is so old now, but this place was probably super chic when it was open. Michael would love to see this. There's the ghost. Uh, 
I can barely see outside. I doubt anyone can hear me or see me in here. It's no use. There's no way I can get these boards off. I can't pick up the bangle. I don't know what the rubber mat's for. Oh, you know what? I know what the rubber mat's for. It's for the electric area. Wait, I have the uh, key now. Uh, use laundry key. I'm gonna do a save. What? The laundry's running? <laughs> Somebody left some clothes in the dryer. Uh, so that might be a clue right there. Yellow, green, red, blue. Old coin exchange machine. Um, yeah, I need I need the, the coins. Vending machine. Still has power and somehow feels like it still keeps drinks chilled. Pretty thirsty. I suppose it's worth the risk, but each drink costs a dollar fifty. Yeah, I need to go back now and get the coins. I should check the coin return. Another quarter. There we go. Another gotcha coin too. Neat. Okay. There's nothing in there. Maybe the coin return has some quarters. Damn, empty. Yep, bummer. There's nothing in here, and the coin returns empty as well. Maybe a coin return has quarters. One more quarter. There we go. All right. Nothing else in here. Can't do anything with that. This is a, a quarter machine. If I had some cash, some dollar dollar bills, y'all. Janitor's closet's locked. There's a pin pad on the door. Something feels familiar here. Huh. Yeah, um, nine, six, one, five from yesterday. Denied. I don't think that's right. Yeah, I need, I need to find the code. I don't know what the code is. Okay, let's go back and get the quarters. Um, from this that wouldn't let us have the quarters before. Two quarters. We can use these as a vending machine. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it. How much do I have now? I think I have a dollar. Yep. I got a buck. I'm going to be able to use a rubber mat on the electrical uh, issue that we have. I need a code though. I don't remember having any codes. Uh, Alright, let's uh, push the broom here. Get this debris out of there. The next problem is electrical wire over the puddle. I need to find something to cover it with that'll go ground me as I pass by. Rubber or thick plastic. Oh yeah. Oh man. I wish I just had something like that. Where could I find something like that? I don't know. My gosh. I wish that there was some convenient way to pick things up ahead of time. So that I don't have to run backwards and grab the stupid mat. Fake mat. Okay. Alright. The only thing is that I don't have enough quarters. I have a gotcha coin. But I don't have. I need another two quarters to get a drink. You find something to cover the puddle. Use the rubber mat. There we go. A bit risky, but there's no other way forward. Plus, I see a light switch around the corner. I should only need to worry about this once. Yes. Yush. There we go. Interact. Okay, so now I can get through there. Hmm. Other than second and L, the buttons still don't work. So I can get up to the second floor. Climb up to the third floor. Um, what else do I have in my inventory here? Two gotcha coins. Oh, I wonder if you can, uh, those are a dollar. I wonder if I can exchange those gotcha coins in that exchange thingy. Let's, let's try that. I'm wondering if that's what that's for. Let's go back here to the, the got, that might be a gotcha coin exchange or something. Um, I don't know if I tried that, like to exchange those tokens here for actual money. Oh, there we go. And a gotcha coin. 
How did a gacha coin made just a few years ago get in here? <laughs> Don't know. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's take a milk tea. Second can of water came out. Lucky. Ah, the creamy flavor always makes me feel much better. There we go. So we got uh, water as well. I don't think there's any other interactions in here. There is the um, coin machine. She can't do anything with that. And I don't have a key to get into there. Um, let's see. Two laces, staple remover, plastics, salon key. I don't know why I still have the salon key on me, but I already did that and got in there. I would think that it would take it away since it's already been it's already been open. Um, what was this? place just like before still just a painting oh the door is a painting I see and then this here third drawer is still locked why is this interactable there's a mini cassette and a Betamax tape why why is there a um why is there a hmm well let's go back and listen to the mini cassette I guess that's really weird. This, I know I've interacted with that plenty of times. And never got a tape or anything. Or a Betamax. <laughs> All of a sudden I get one? Huh? Makes so much sense. Um, oh, yeah. It's right here. Uh, play the cassette. Let's try this tape out. Voice, it sounds so familiar. Huh? Is she saying my name? Hmm. Um, creepy. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's do a quick save. I didn't mean to do that, but that's good. <laughs> Thanks, accidental butt press. So. Milk tea. There we go. <laughs> My favorite thing to drink. Classic milk tea. After drinking it, I feel refreshed and energized. Um, let's just say. Voicemail left on an answering machine in a salon. Translated audio. You fucking whore spreading lies about me and my family. You told... Uh, who told you these things? Who do you think you are talking about others' business? You deserve what happened to you. No wonder your family doesn't want you tarnishing their name. Wow. Wow. Um, hmm. Uh, so, oh, fur without jacket, bird. Huh? Oh, I see. There. Hold on. Let me go back here. There's like scrapes and stuff on me. Come on, bruised up. New outfit is all bruised up. <laughs> all right. Um. Hmm. Well, I feel like we need to go back up to the third floor. I don't know that there's anything to do here on the second floor anymore, but it did say I need to check the manager's office. So might as well uh, give a once over on the manager's office see if any new paperwork showed up seems kind of weird but whatever everything in this game is kind of weird if not then I'll just go to the uh, third floor again 
See what we can find there. This is the apartment on the manager's desk. I might be able to find a key for the storage room. Oh. Ah, I found it. Okay. Storage was up on the third floor, right? Like I'm like you can answer me, but <laughs> can you answer me, please? Okay. Storage was back this way. Okay. There we go. You'll never find me. Oh, Suki, you some bitch. I don't have time for this. Yeah, right. Right. Just a rusty old chair. Looks pretty sturdy, even after all this time. Probably to climb up and get the backpack, maybe? Back scratcher. Oddly enough, these things haven't changed much over the decades. Pretty simple. But ain't broke, I guess. Back scratcher. Okay. Maybe I need the... What was that? Hmm. What's that? Made a weird noise there. Maybe I'm gonna need the back scratcher to like grab something. I use this chair to get up high and then use the back scratcher to reach something that I can't get to because it's up high or something. Storage locker labeled 04 has a numeric padlock on it. Um, don't know what that is. Don't have a code at the moment. There's no number on this cage, but there's an odd lock. Locks rusted and old, a spider lily pattern is clearly visible. There's no lock. I guess it's worth looking inside. There's a lot of interesting antiques in this locker. Oh, and a gun. Jesus. Very very well made white keypow? Did I say that right? An incredibly ornate pistol and a small locket. The woman in the white keypow, I recognize her from somewhere. Look like Colonel Sanders to me. One of the coolest guns that I've ever seen was in the Romeo and Juliet movie. Um, it was a very stylized Romeo and Juliet movie. Um, was it a musical too? I forget. But there was guns in it, and it it was this. Um, what's his name? Mercutio. Is that his name? Mercu Am I saying that right? Um, Romeo's best friend, he had the most bitchin' weapon. <laughs> it was so amazing looking. They really designed that great. Uh, yes, let's save game. We will save over this one. Alright, so I think the numbers on the cages might be the code to that lock. Oh, there's a lot of them. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Dang it. I was thinking that lock. Um, that double digits would be. Uh, yeah, damn it. That's not it. That's not it. Maybe it's all the ones that are closed? Or all the ones that are open? Um, there's more. There's more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because there's a ton that are open and a ton that are closed. Dang it. I was thinking these double digits on this cage would make sense. Okay, no, that one's actually closed. That one's closed. That one's closed. That one's open. That one's open. That closed, closed, closed. Is eight open or closed? Eight's open. Maybe it's only the open ones then. 07, 08. 10, 3, no, no, that wouldn't be it, all right, well, I have a feeling that something's up with the locker numbers since they're double digit, just don't know what, um, there's nothing else to interact with here, um, Kind of like going back over 
in my head what any of these are. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. This rusty chair. Dang it. All right. Um. Uh, I found anything else that might be helpful in any of this? I need to find a way to remove the lock. So I don't have anything for that. So I need something to remove that lock. Uh, I know it's the third floor, but I seem to be a little higher up than I thought. I could probably still make the jump with a broken leg at worst, but jump down? Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh dead okay <laughs> all right continue uh auto save um no annual save here you'll never find me i don't have time for this right I hadn't done anything since Suki wants to be found. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think there's any. Okay, so I'm not jumping down. That is death. Which I wasn't aware that that was something that could happen from me doing a choice. So, need to be careful. Door must have loosened from the collapse. Oh, I can open this now. Huh. Well, this is the same. Oh, it's, it's just uh, the other side. Hmm. Um, I don't think this must be Suki. I should bring this photo to the shrine in her bedroom. Offer it to Suki and her parents may help. There you go. Where's the shrine? Is this the... this isn't the bedroom? Turn to apartment. Um... Is this the shrine over there then? Um... Hmm. Where is the shrine? Oh, I haven't been in here. I have been in here. Handmade dollhouse. Several dolls and toys occupy the miniature rooms. Top bunk is covered in toys. Something about this stuffed rabbit looks familiar, though. The memory's a bit foggy. Michael. When Maiko and I were little, we had a bed a lot like this one. Ooh, could this be you? Walls covered in adorable yet somehow creepy drawings. There's also a poster of vintage anime. I think it was called Mao Shaoju Ushu Ushimimi Moo. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, an old dodgeball. Surprisingly, it still got air and plenty of bounce in it. Took the dodgeball. That's weird. There's another shrine and a photo of a young man and a woman is next to the offering plate and they. Are they Suki's mother and father? The least I can do is complete the shrine before making an offering. Place the photo. There. Now to make an offering. I'm so sorry, Suki. Please be at peace. There we go. guys are reunited. Nice. Reunited and it feels so good. Several of the drawings seem to depict people that Suki knew. Maybe neighbors? One of them is labeled Big Sis Fei Fei. I'm not sure why Suki would draw a woman like this. Okay, I took it. Or did I just take that picture? So what is that in my journal?
What does she say about it? An odd drawing of one of the tenants of the Chongqing apartments. Hmm. Interesting. So now I can go in two different ways to this room, I guess. I still haven't found the other mirror piece. School supplies still doesn't let me interact with that in any way. Okay, that's another exit. There's a bedroom that I can still go into. Pretty sure I've done everything in here that I need to do, except I need to find the mirror. The mirror piece, but... I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we've done quite a bit up here and we're all messed up. <laughs> Our outfit is all jacked up and scratched. We're bruised from falling through the floor. And I'm not really sure what we're going to do next, but we'll figure it out in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, throw a like on there. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.